Ian Polian has brought a few notable changes to the University of Nevada. You know, you're getting new uniforms this year, and you're getting a new locker room, and, and here's a player's lounge. But the new head coach has made sure at least one thing has remained the same, the pistol offense. Six, Fajardo looking to throw, now steps up, looks to run. It was one of the things that made the job attractive in the sense that a, the offense has been very productive, so it would have been silly to change it. We're personnel for it. Uh, our, our kids are committed to it, but and, and almost as, as important, it, I, it gives us an identity. Um, when you say to a college football fan, uh, Nevada, they say pistol. So that separates us from, from the competition in a lot of ways. So to, to run away from that identity would have been a, 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 silly, a silly move. He called me, and that was my first question. Are we still going to run the pistol, coach? And he's like, you betcha. And I'm like, oh, well, that's awesome. And you know, obviously, you can see the NFL transitioning into a more pistol-like offense. Quarterback Cody Fajardo returns for his junior season after ranking 10th in the nation in total offense last year. He's a better passer than, than I expected him to be. I think, frankly, he's undervalued as a quarterback. I think a lot of people just look at him and say, there's a really good athlete running a, a very specific system, but the reality of it is the, the guy's a very skilled quarterback, and, and that's been, you know, that's been the most impressive thing to me after having watched him work for 15 practices in the spring. Fajardo's two top receivers return this season, but the Wolfpack will have to find a replacement for the departed Stephon Jefferson, who set the Mountain West single season rushing record before departing for the NFL. What you won't see is, is somebody carrying the ball 300 plus times like you saw with Stephon. So I, I think uh, between Don Jackson, who's a junior college transfer, and Kendall Brock, who's with, been within our program that we moved from slot receiver back to tailback, I, I think those two guys will, will handle the majority of the carries. The defense returns five Five starters, including all four defensive linemen. Last year, as a defensive line, we were, we were the babies of the defense. I mean, like you said, we had all the linebackers were seniors. We had Duke and Khalid uh, in the secondary, and we could. We, we, we were kind of uh, mass, you know, like they could make up for areas that we didn't necessarily excel in. And I think this year it's it's the opposite. It, the front of a good defense, you need a good front four. And I think this year, because we're we're all now veterans, now we've all played, you know, 13 games and. We've all we've all got a taste. We, we're putting it on ourselves to be like, you know what? Like, it start it always starts with us, but now like really like the mistakes. Like we can't have any mistakes. We got to allow the mistakes to happen. Despite a new coach and some new players, the expectations remain high in Reno. Every other team in the Mountain West is doing this. So if we take a backseat to them, well, there, there's not going to be a nice straight bowl game, and the Fremont Canyon is not going to be blue for another year. Nevada opens up the season with a trip to the Rose Bowl to battle UCLA for the Mountain West Network. I'm Jesse Kurtz.